ओम ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुण रहित सस्यमस्यादिलक्षण एक निबलमचल सर्वधी साक्षीहुत भावातीत त्रिगुण रहित सद्गुरु तम नमा ओं गुरु ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिव हम नाउ वी आर टेकिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव श्रीमद भगवत गीता दिस स्टेंजा इज एडमायर ऑफ डिजायरनेस एक्टिविटी दैट इज द निष्काम कर्मा योग डिड यू नॉट पॉसिबल अनाशिता कर्म फल कार्य कर्म करोती सन्यासी चोगी चाक्रिय अनाशिता कर्म फल कार्य कर्म करोती सह सन्यासी चोगी च निरग्नी न अक्रिय अनाशिता विदाउट सपोर्ट ऑफ कर्म फल इंसेंटिव ऑफ एक्शंस और फ्रूट ऑफ कर्मास रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्मास कार्यम इट मींस वर्क्स करोती इट मींस डू डस और परफॉर्म यह इट मींस दैट पर्सन सह एंड दैट इज सन्यासी इट मींस द सन्यासी च एंड योगी इट मींस ए योगी च एंड ना इट मींस नॉट निराग्नि यानी रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ फायर न मींस नॉट च मींस एंड अक्रिय मींस गिविंग अप ऑल एक्टिविटीज दैट इज द मीनिंग भगवान सेज दैट पर्सन हु नेवर डू एनी वर्क फॉर द रिजल्ट and the fruit of karmas who never do for desires that is called sanyasi real sanyasi and that is yogi and those person that is sanyasi which is give up fire that is not sanyasi and who give up activities and stay inactive that is not yogi sadguru sachidananda parmatma the only and only master and base of all installation of millions uncountable galaxies come on the earth in the form of lord krishna lord word is very less than for krishna he the lords of the lost lords greatest master krishna 
giving the ultimate knowledge of liberation, Brahma Jnana. The great master Krishna giving the definition of real sannyasi, real bird is very essential because now in this world many many sannyasis but real is very few. The real sannyasi that who never do the karmas by the inspiration or incentive of result orientation. He never do karmas for his desires or the fruit of karmas for the satisfaction of his sensory hunger. He never do the karmas because the sensory hunger because he is living 100% detached from his antakarna. He do the karmas only for Sadguru's service, service of Sadguru and he do the karmas for the survival only. That Hana is asking, what after the enlightenment? You will do the karma only for survival of your life. You will eat food, you will bath, you will bark, you will talk, but all will be limited. When you are not jnani, you are not sannyasi, then you will swim in the swimming pool hours and hours. But when you are sannyasi, you will not do like that. If you are not sannyasi, you will eat lavishly food and many, many type of tasty food. But if you are sannyasi, you can't do that. You will take appropriate food. You will take appropriate sleep. So, a sannyasi do the activities only for survival and the service of his Sadguru, as I am doing my service of Sadguru. Because this is my duty or this is my compulsion that when I am alive on the earth, I should be served to the real seeker like you. Only vital, essential karma sannyasi do. He knows what to do and what to not to do because he never govern by the prize and punishment method. As your society govern by the prize and punishment method everywhere you can see. A society admire the fixed activities that society approve. A religious admire, religion, religion admire the fixed ex activities which they approve, they called punyas, they give the heaven and the activity society reject, then they will go in hell. If you are the student of the sociology, then you read something, the different, different rules in different society. Even they are very opposite in India and in the native so society of America, there is many different rules. And the Eskimos, they have the many different rules. So, the prize and punishment method govern the societies 
सो द ज्ञानी ही नेवर डू द वर्क फॉर प्राइस और पनिशमेंट अचीवमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी ही डू नॉट बांट हिज ओन डिसीजन्स he he not hunger for admiration admiration because he has not unconscious condition like all persons he is not unconscious condition of antakarna i want describe antakarna mana buddhi chitta ahankara he is not slave of man एंड कर्मा फलाशक्ति इंटरेस्ट एंड इंप्रेशन ऑफ कर्मा रिजल्ट इन द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अंत करना ही नेवर इन्वॉल्व इन अंत करना because there is dark illusion of maya he is already separated from all illusion of maya so the agyani living in the dark he is in mind of and he is person of desires he do not do anything he do only his illusion bond to do but a real seeker do as his masters instruct so mind oriented person always live in unpleasant unpeaceful and many type of sorrow and tensions and the mind and the master oriented person we say the seeker lives in pleasant condition peaceful condition without any tension without any stress as a dog moves his tail for the piece of bread or the cake as the dark person the unknown person of the enlightenment he do all things for the sensory hunger and the incentive of the society that is the stage of the person do for desires your society teach human this way the price and punishment method they fear of punishment suppress his natural needs and desires so the person want to show in society as a good man as a gentleman but in the inner level of his life he fulfill his desire very secretly and in the deep he has his hungers like a crude animal a person is also has a crude desires he do for the hunger of his sensory satisfaction that is the secret sin that's why he live in that dual life 
one side he is a religious and moral person in the society and other side he is the hunger for different type of sensory hungers so many time person break down in psychological diseases disorders they goes in the depression they go they become the mad and silly they face many mental diseases schizophrenia meningenia etc so this society is so facing the crimes and cruelty and decoity and thieves and crime against women because the person is living in two phases one phase is showing for society and another phase is his inner crude face so sanyasi also they are living this type because they pump and show his in their image to the society as a holy person but in the private time they do many wrong things because they are not enlightened so the enlightenment is very necessary because the enlightened person never do any work for this prize and punishment matter he is already satisfied with his knowledge of supreme enlightenment so agyani living living in the dark because he is without of ultimate knowledge he has no ultimate knowledge so he is living in the dark because a agyani is living in the dark he cannot face his force of kama and krodhas that is the very fast flow very powerful flow of kamas and krodhas the sensory evil force comes and agyani flow floating on that force he cannot stand on earth he can cannot bear the flow and the flow in the stream and the destruction of that type of tsunami his possibility also destroy of liberation and he feel guilt also only and only the gyani can bear these forces of sensory thunders or sensory forceful conditions because he has the ultimate knowledge of spiritual science the spiritual science it is also a science because he is living in the complete awareness because he is standing in the very safe place of existence there is no effect of maya or illusion 
my master told me a example when a forest burn the fire caught in the forest all animals the deers the tigers the lions many many animals they die in the in the fire but the elephant knows he take his family and go in in the river and stand in between the river the fire will then the fire will close and fire will stop he comes out from the river he save his life so gyani is just just this elephant all the world is burning in the kamas and krodhas and lobhas and mohas and the activities of the illusion of the maya if you are not enlightened if you are not atma gyani then you will be burn and die in this unstoppable fire of karmas and you will be again and again die and again and again born but if you get the river of peace and the river of supreme knowledge and the river of master's grace you can survive yourself no illusion or maya can affect on you as that elephant no fire can affect on him why the agyani or unknown person take the support of result of karmas even he knows the karmas are false but he is knowing in incomplete knowing only the worldly knowing why he never support the atma sakshatkar why he involve in unnecessary the false religious activities or practices why he gathered among the fake gurus why he is so tired and fed up in the in this field why he is not believe on real master the answer of these questions your all religions and society teach you all outer things nobody teach you the inner things your all prayers comes from outer your all karma kanda your havan your jap your everything push you in the outside nothing is pushing you your inside so you don't know inner treasure of spirituality you have no real experience of peace you know only rest you do not know peace you know only thoughts the flowing of thoughts and you unconsciously floating on them but you have no experience of silence your society and religious person also they are like you your gurus your religious posted person they are sitting in the higher post of your religions they are same you in the inner side they have only post and they make the propaganda you have nothing knowledge of the spiritual treasure of atma sakshatkar you have nothing knowledge you are experience is zero you only knows the words you only knows the books you only knows the uh the tarkas it means the debates you only knows the outer things 
you never know the inner things. That's why the most of person not come to the Vedanta Marga. My community which I belong, Vedanta in India, they are also doing Karma Kanda. In the Haridwara, in my Vedanta Ashram, there is two big idol. One is Lord Shiva and second is Hanumana. But in the Vedanta, we restrict the worship of, of any idols. Because if you worship the idol, then you and the, and the other Karma Kandi, they are the same. In my Vedanta Ashrama, the sannyasi they perform the yajyas, they put the kathas, and many, many reading of the book, and chanting of mantras, and they are also taking the Akhanda Ramayana, in Indore also. So, they are deviated, they are drilled from the path of the Vedanta. So, uh, you can understand, when the school of Vedanta in India also not 100% pure, then who will teach you Vedanta? So, they are the well-known monk of Vedanta. They are famous monk of Vedanta in India. They are doing the puja activ act activities, karma kanda. They have doing the action like the panditas. So you can imagine how can they teach the seekers to give up all false activities? So, in this shloka, the Krishna is also pointing in this way. So, this world today is unknown by the topest secret knowledge of Atma Sakshatkara, the ultimate goal of Vedanta, the Jivan Mukti, so that is the biggest cause. We did not find the student or seekers, because all are giving knowledge of outer things, nobody is giving the knowledge of inner thing, so the master cannot find the more and more seekers of this path of liberation. Gita, Ramayana, Yoga Vasishta, Upanishadas support this fact. That is many examples that is reason says and respect person comes near real master and master also very rare and rarest. So the student is also very rare and rarest and master is also very rare and rarest. <laughs> I am nothing shame to say. I search all over the India but I do not find the real master. I find only one my real master who has given me this knowledge and I am very grateful to my master because my wandering life is stopped. So the lords of the lords, the emperors of the emperors, Lord Krishna says in this stanza, sannyasi or yogi is that person 
who has not inspired or not take any support, the result or fruits of karmas, he has not child as doing the work for chocolate, he do not, he, he do not attack with the karma's fruit. He do his function by the direct stream of existence. It is very, very valuable, very valuable thing. He do his karmas by the direct stream of the existence in Hindi that called pragya, that called internal awareness, divine. That pragya comes in the simultaneously when you get the atma sachatkara. As the sun comes, sun arise and lights come, and the, when you get atma sachatkara, the pragya is automatically come. Then he only become the witness of the nature. He saw the real doer is nature. You can see the you can see the activities of a master of or a enlightened person, but in the reality he do nothing. Because there is, you have no capacity so, to see inside of any master. You only can see outside activities of the master. As I am putting my hands on my nose, doing like that, you can see this. But you cannot see my awareness. So he become Sakshi. He become Bachar, he become darshak and he may make his body like a laboratory and he always doing the experience with the ultimate truth. He do only natural activities for only living and do for the incoming seekers the service of existence. He do the service for incoming seekers, that is the service of ex existence, and his masters he is the doing for his master's work. You see in the Bombay HMB, his master's voice. A dog is sitting. That is the symbol. So the master, every master, do the service of his master, spread his master's voice. So we are the HMB stars. He live in non-doing condition, non-doer and non-taker. Even he see like a doer, but he is non-doer because his consciousness totally detached from all doings. He is akarta and abhokta. So Bhagwan Sadguru Krishna want to open your eyes and say, Sanyasi is not propaganda. Sanyasi is not propaganda. He is not give up the fire. Sanyasi is not orange cloth. Sanyasi is not beard like me. Sanyasi is not a smooth face. Cut all the hair. Sanyasi is the inner stage. Sanyasi is the inner stage. 
कबीर नानक दादू पलटू रविदास ऑल सेज द सन्यासा इज द इनर स्टेज ऑफ अवेयरनेस इट कम्स आफ्टर द आत्म साक्षात्कार माय मास्टर स्वामी ज्ञानानंद सेज अबाउट सन्यासा सर्वनासा स सन्यासा टोटल डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ माया इज अ सन्यासा माय स्वामी सेज सर्वनासा स सन्यासा द टोटल डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ माया इज सन्यासा इफ ए पर्सन हैज नॉट नॉलेज ऑफ आत्म साक्षात्कार हिज सन्यासा इज इनकम्प्लीट एंड इफ ही इज नॉट वॉन्ट एंड नॉट मूविंग इन दैट वे ऑफ एनलाइटनमेंट ही इज ओनली द एक्टर he is a, the drama company a hero he is not sanyasi he is only artist he is the fake person if any person take sanyas by the master and his consciousness flow in basic chakra he is not sanyasi he is the sandyasi he is the man of toilet he is toilet man bhagwan said about yogi most of yogi learn the pranayamas dhyan dharana and samadhis he control the breath by pranayama and they take samadhi they can stop all vital activities or reduce them krishna says that is not yoga that is not yogi if they are give up the they are not give up the antakarna they are not yogi the yogi like expect, accept all uh, of all karmas if they give up the karmas like the hibernation of frogs hibernation of snake hibernation of polar bears as they are animal they the animal also give up the active actions of body vital organs and they stays in the cool weather for 4 month 5 month 6 month when the spring is come they came out so if you are perfect in the samadhi jal samadhi you are not yogi because you do not detach from antakarna and you have no standing in the supreme knowledge of enlightenment the animal cannot called that type of sanyasi you do not make the temples of that animals so why are you impressed from this sanyasi so krishna is giving you the scale and the test paper because without gyana nobody can get the ultimate knowledge of liberation who get it that is only real stage real yogi if you get it you are a real yogi so please be careful about fake stage of sanyasa and fake stage of yogas that is not sanyasa he give up the cloth home fire activities family society and you are living in the cave that you are the animal living in the cave you are not sanyasi you are not yogi that is complete awareness that is total detachment that is complete spirituality 
from, uh, separation from Maya that is no illusion without you living without antakaran no illusion with antakaran samadhi means samadhan adhi sam means equality with existence adhi means existence so we say in guru gita adhisthana ya jagat kaha bhav sagar ke setu ब्रह्म सब विद्या के मूल है ब्रह्म ज्ञान के है तू आखे फोड़ी अज्ञान ने सतगुरु किया उजास तो इस दिस टाइप ऑफ रियल मीनिंग ऑफ अनासिता कर्म फल कार्यम कर्म करोती यह अनासिता कर्म फलम कार्य कर्म करोती यह do without desire do for master and do with awareness i want to repeat do without desire do for master and do with awareness thank you very much my dear